New at 6, an Oak Creek man taking it upon himself to warn residents about a spike in home and car break-ins. Police say the majority of these have been crimes of opportunity. And that has one Good Samaritan working overtime. Ben Jordan tells us how. Charles and Carol, over the past few days, that man says he stopped by 500 homes so they don't make simple mistakes and become a target. Corey Carlson and his daughter have been going door to door, mailbox to mailbox, and car to car with flyers in hand. They'll get the garage door opener and they get out of the garage whatever they can. If the car is in there, they take your keys and take your car. Sharing the same message no matter the method. Common sense stuff, but we're all guilty of not doing it. Oak Creek police say they've seen an increase in crimes of opportunity due to unlocked cars and homes, even open windows and garages. What we're finding out from a lot of people is that um, they didn't know what's going on in the neighborhood. Naomi Stillman learned the hard way. Actually, we've had a bike stolen from the side of our garage a few weeks ago. Um, and I know our next door neighbors, um, their car was broken into just about a week ago. Carlson says he also fell victim to the recent spree. It makes you kind of question everything around you. He hopes his hours spent alerting neighbors will keep their belongings out of the wrong hands. I think the big thing is make the criminals understand that you caught us off guard and we're not, we're not unaware anymore. We're not naive to what's happening. Aside from locking doors and windows, police say valuables and garage door openers should be kept out of sight in cars left outside. Live in the newsroom, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. Always a good reminder. Thanks, Ben.